Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Today was our first chapel for our pre-K students here at Cross of Christ Preschool. And our opening chapel for them is always focused on the baptism of Jesus. And we talk about baptism. I like to fill our baptismal font with water. And I have the kids put their hands in the water and feel it and sprinkle it and, and just look at it. And I always ask the question, where do you think I got this water from? This is the water we use in baptism. Where do you think it came from? And today, little girl, she knew right away. She said, from the sink. <laughs> I was like, that's right. This is just plain ordinary water that I got from the sink. It's the same water that we brush our teeth with, that we wash our hands with, that we boil noodles with, take baths and showers with. It's just plain ordinary water. What makes the water in baptism special, it's not the, the water, it's God's promise. Where God promises to be with us, to forgive our sins, to make us his own dear children, to live with him forever. That's what makes baptism special. It's God's word of promise. When we go to the waters of baptism, we're not trusting in the water. We're not trusting in what we're doing. We're trusting God's word of promise. You see, God has this tendency to use the plain and ordinary things of his creation to do great things. Think about Jesus' first miracle, where Jesus takes plain and ordinary water and makes it into the best of wine. Jesus takes plain and ordinary fish and bread and feeds thousands with it. Jesus takes his plain and ordinary human flesh and has it nailed with plain and ordinary iron to the plain and ordinary wood of a cross. And there sheds his plain and ordinary blood for the forgiveness of our sins. Now, of course, Jesus' blood, beyond just plain and ordinary, because it's Jesus' blood. And while he is 100% man, he is also 100% God. And so there you had the perfect blood of Christ, of the second person of the Trinity, of God himself, shed for the forgiveness of our sins. But Jesus, again, God, he works through the plain and ordinary things of his creation to deliver his good gifts to his people. That includes the plain and ordinary people that are you and me. God uses you, he uses me, he works through us to share his love with others and to deliver his good gifts, the gifts won for us in Christ on the cross, delivering those gifts to his people. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your great love for us shown to us through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you that through his death, our sins have been forgiven. That through the waters of baptism, we have been made your own dear children. Lord, we thank you for working through the everyday, ordinary things of your creation to deliver your good gifts, to take care of us, to forgive us, to save us. Lord, we pray that you would use us as your instruments to share your love with others. And we pray, Lord, that you would teach us always to trust in your promises. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Pray God's blessings on your day. Hope to see you tomorrow. Amen.